oldest, no, the highest ranking survivor of the attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. He was lieutenant of the USS Captain. Real quick, I go into him, he goes, how's it going? And he was still driving at 99. Not well, but he was still driving. <laughs> and, and he would do 100 sit-ups a day. And he goes, how's it going? And I go, Uncle Bob, I'm out of money. They're carpet bombing me. Uh, you know, I feel like I've led these folks on a rosy road to nowhere. I don't think there's hope for California or America. I'm so discouraged. And, and I've, I've never heard him angry in the 50 years I've known him. I'm named after him. He's my godfather. While I'm whining and going through this litany of complaining, he puts his hand up, not shaking with age, and he goes, stop it! <laughs> Paralyze me. Nothing like being spanked by a 99-year-old guy. <laughs> he goes, stop it. He said, you don't know tough. I was 16 years old in the Great Depression, and we didn't know where our next meal was going to come from. And had it not been an appointment to the Naval Academy, I would have never gotten a college degree. And you don't know this being a history major, major, but we had the 22nd largest military on the face of the earth. And I was in Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, when the Japanese sank half our Pacific fleet. They sank my ship. The harbor was on fire and I was pulling my shipmates out of the water and they were dead. And the next day we took on a two-fronted war against two fascist nations that were geared up for war and our military was decimated. And we lifted that fleet from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean and we contended and we brought both of those fascist nations to their knees. And we were not occupiers, we were liberators. When we conquered them, we only asked for enough ground to bury our dead, set up constitutional republics in both nations, came back to the United States, cut federal spending and started the greatest industrial revolution in our lifetime. Now quit your whining and go finish what you started. <laughs> Welcome to the stage.